Hello, welcome back in the project. In this lecture, we will be working on categories and brands. If someone clicks any of the category or the brand, so products associated with that category or brand should be displayed on the main page. For this purpose, we need to go to the functions page basically and create some more functions. Uh, first of all, we will add some conditions to this function get pro one. We'll say if is not set. For if is not set, we always use the exclamation sign and then is set. Let's mean if is not set. If is not set dollar underscore get. get if is not set we have just added this exclamation sign with before the is set so that's mean if is not set if is set and if is not set if is not set category we will uh, add this category url variable to that link uh, with the category basically so we say if that is not set then uh, run this whole thing and we will put we'll close the curly bracket here below this function sorry before the function and with that we'll also say if is not if exclamation sign if is not said also dollar underscore get and uh, two square brackets it is not set brand again a curly bracket and we will close it here yes I have closed this curly bracket here so <coughs> now basically we have added two conditions if category cat variable is not uh, active and brand uh, variable is not active then show and uh, run this whole script for displaying the products now I just saved them and we will also go to index page basically can open the index page e-commerce and this is the index page the details page we will close it so this is the index page and sorry the cats are uh, here in the functions yes here is the link of the categories so we had given uh, a demo link I mean uh, a temporary link with hash sign now we will just say index.php and we will create a variable URL with question mark and we will equal it to get and that will be equal to get ID which is coming directly from the table using fetch array here you can see this is saved in the local variable cat underscore id so we have created the cat variable and that is equal to this variable in the while loop is running so whatever category you will click that will pick up its own id specific id control s to save and the same thing we will do with the brands very simply page will be the same index page index.php and question mark and after that brand this will be equal to dollar brand underscore id that's it control is to save now come here and refresh the page and you will see when you mouse over here on the I mean the categories so you can observe here 
this is laptop and cat is equal to 1 camera is equal to 2 mobile is equal to 3 computers iPads and similar you know iPhone is equal to 6 and same is that for brands so <coughs> the links are picking its own IDs so when we click this so there must be products relevant to this category or this brand so I click this so there is no uh, you know I clicked a category so there is nothing if I click a uh, brand there will be nothing because we have actually uh, given the condition inside the get pro function you can see so there will be nothing now we can create another I mean another function just copy this whole function and we will paste it twice uh, I mean before the just the with the okay copy this whole will remove the unnecessary things unnecessary code just control C to copy and here below this we will just paste it once I have pasted it I will remove the brand one and also will remove its curly bracket from here and I will say very simply if a set get I will remove this exclamation sign so now it will become if a set get get so at that point I will just get get ID uh, get underscore ID is equal to dollar underscore get and uh, inside this square brackets I will get that ID just bringing by the cat I mean when someone will click that uh, category any of the categories so a link will be active and the address bar a dynamic a, uh, a dynamic URL will be created so after that we came here and say that uh, get underscore cat pro we simply we will change these all variables and this time we will say select from products where product underscore cat is equal to this cat underscore id that's very simple this one we are talking about and we are saying that it's see inside the products table and only display or uh, you know bring those products which is having this product underscore cat ID I mean which is matching with this category ID which we have in the URL variable when someone clicks any of this categories link you can see here this is bringing its own ID so we are catching that ID basically using the get method and we are saving that in a local variable cat underscore id which we are using here in the where condition so after that really simple we said run cat underscore pro and here get cat pro just changing and uh, here we will say row cat underscore pro this is because we are getting the post associated with this category basically and pro id pro cat pro brand pro title pro price and things like that this will be same everything will be same other things we just need to change this to category row pro to row cat underscore pro is all variables because now we have another variable here which is using mysql if h array to get data from the table so i have changed this all 
the rest is of the things are okay that should be the same control s to save and now okay the name will be changed over here its name will be get 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 pro the name of the function i have changed now simply go to index page and uh, go here where we have called the uh, get brands the same place we will simply say php get get pro no sorry this is not the place it is here below which is get pro php get get pro so whenever if the category is not selected or brand is not selected then this function will be called i mean get get pro and if category is not selected then this get pro function will be called and if category is selected this will be called and we are also going to display the brands as well so control s to save again and go to your page refresh it now i will click laptops when i click laptop you can see only laptops are coming over here i mean hp dell and hp and this kind of laptops and above you can see in the address bar that index.php the same page but a dynamic url has been created with the question mark get is equal to 1 that's mean here we have a uh, product underscore cat inside the products folder and one id uh, you know there are three ids three product id sorry category ids are one 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 i mean three products are having the same category id so and they are being displayed it displayed over here in front of you when we click any of the category so that's really simple now we click cameras there is only one uh, product relevant to camera or associated with cameras we click mobile there are two we click ipads there is no product and if we click uh, computers there is no product we click iphones there is no product and for no product we can simply uh, there is no product we can simply say uh, here we'll simply use we'll simply count the products oh, oh. simply create a variable count underscore cats is equal to mysqli underscore number underscore rows num underscore rows that is a function basically and we will give this run cat underscore pro this is the query that we have run already uh, sorry yes this one so it will count whether there are uh, uh, I mean products associated with, with that category or not so now we can simply say if count underscore cats uh, is equal to zero that means mean there is no product relevant to that category then inside the curly brackets we will simply echo and inside the echo statement in this two uh, in double course we will say h2 there is no product in this category and h2 close that's it and in else else statement sorry we need to just simply cut this from here if statement and put it here yes after the while loop i mean the this this data and in else statement else and here is curly bracket and a curly bracket will be down here that's it control s to save very simple we have given some data just refresh it bow there 
equal to zero count kits is equal to zero there is no product in this category else echo and there is a dot okay Uh, run kit underscore pro my sqli my sqli uh, number rows count kits okay give this that get get underscore pro id told us to save now refresh no there is problem run underscore get underscore pro this is basically refresh the message is not coming here the rest of the things are ok there is no product else one two three and one two three that is okay there is no problem uh, I see here okay we can sh do it there before here we can exit it here exit is a command that uh, we use if we don't want uh, to execute the rest of the code so I have saved now come here before that we have to also remove this thing this else statement in its bracket control s to save come here refresh the page and you will see this is written there is no category uh, and we can use the else statement there else and uh, the all here we can just simply close the else statement now refresh oh this is also creating problem basically so we can remove this whole control is to save refresh it and you can see there is nothing if you click laptop there will be laptops there will be cameras there will be mobiles but uh, when you click this so there is nothing so we wanted to show a message there uh, we need to actually we'll also display the count variable here count kits told us to save push hmm see the problem is in the counts variable anyways we will look into this issue there is a very very small I think some kind of error very small 
it's not uh, we are not getting that at the moment but in next video we are coming uh, and working on this on this uh, brands I mean the brands so someone clicks this any of the brands so they can see the associated products with that and also this is coming nicely and if someone clicks this I mean the index page so by default there are six products displayed anyways coming in next tutorial to teach you about the brands take care